What's up YouTube, long time no see. I'm back again and I'm Euclid Gamer and today to come out of the shadows and welcome myself back to YouTube, we're going to go ahead and do a reaction for the Halo Wars 2 Atriox character trailer. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Cutter. What happened down there? Oh. Ah! Isabel. Five months ago, the portal from the Ark to Earth shut down without warning. A month later, he arrived. He? The brute. Jesus! His name is Atriox. Never get used to that. During the war, the Covenant used his clan as expendable muscle. Yes! Them dying in battle would speed their holy journey. And none ever returned. Until he did. And so battle by battle. War by war. Wow. Atriox was born. With every victory, his legend and his hatred grew. Ooh, Sanhele! Eventually both were impossible to conceal. And they tried to banish him. Oh, shit! In everything we know about the Covenant's thousand-year history, Atriox was the first to defy the Covenant. Oh, he doesn't and care! Survive. And his defiance Oh, no! Others. What? And had two targets. <laughs> what? They almost got us. But Atriox. Oh my God! They never came. Let Valir! Oh, let Valir and Decimus. We don't stop them now. We leave the galaxy at the mercy of a monster. He killed everyone I was supposed wow. to protect. At this rate, it'll be over soon. That is what you're up against, James Cutter. We need to run Jesus. as far and as fast as we can. Holy hell. Now your enemy. Nice. So there you have it, guys. The Halo Wars 2 Atriox trailer. I said character trailer, but it's the Atriox trailer. I don't really know much what else to say except for awesome. And I'm going to say this right now as a big Sanhili, Sangeli, however you want to pronounce it, but elite fan in the Halo series, I honestly respect that there is a character that was able to not only defy the Covenant, but to put down a Sanhili death squad. That squad was obviously either there to put him down, or it was some kind of special fleet master, but judging by the way his helmet looked, a very unique design. There was even blade masters, dual wielding swordsmen, which normally are blade masters, as you guys have probably read in the books. And the fact that his clan could take them out just goes to show Adrul Hane's true potential. And that is something that needs to be pressed upon. They were an interesting character in 2, and then a little bit in 3, more of a, more of a filler backbone for the Covenant. But to give them a shine, because the Elites really have had their time. And I hate to say that because I will never stop loving the Elites, loving the Sanhili. They'll be my favorite race in the Halo series forever. Even if they did kind of get ugly in the new games, not the point. They're still my favorite there too. That being said, you got to see Let Valir kind of and uh, and Decimus and Atrox and that first of course that first scene where it shows him talking to the AI. Just can't remember her name at the time. Talking to the AI and James Cutter, um, she's telling him about him of that you know this guy is trouble. And then it shows how easily again we get to see again how easily he's able to dispatch Spartans. You heard a Spartan too, the strongest, the most brutal, and the most. I would say more like war machine like soldiers ever to come out of the Spartan program and he was choking one to the point that he was gurgling. That's bad. This guy's strong. And just imagine that kind of uh, you know hand strength with Decimus who is supposed to be an even bigger more the epitome of what the Jural Hane are supposed to be more of what the brutes are stereotyped as big brutes. Decimus is the brute but Atriox is not only big and strong but he's extremely intelligent and he formed his own covenant basically. Uh, it's gonna be. It's kind of hard to tell why he made this group and what he did. Probably just an opportunist faction, but they 
they survive through each other. So they all stay under his rule, and they probably all benefit. Kind of like how Let Valier, shipmaster, you know, got to uh, what's it? the name of his assault carrier? An assault carrier in the covenant was the enduring conviction. Now, there's also it's also told that I've read online and like Halopedia and stuff that Let Valier gets teased by Atriox because his ship's called the Enduring Conviction, and he finds it kind of like you know hypocritical that or whatever, just kind of ironic that the Enduring Conviction is the name of a like, mercenary shipmaster's because he's not enduring anything; he's no longer with the Covenant. And to see, that's going to be interesting to see all this, but just to, to kind of see more of his backstory up till this point, he's just been a fearsome face with a very expressive story, but you guessed. Now we're kind of seeing it. He basically got tired of the Covenant shit, and that's going to be awesome to see. I can't wait to see that. Um, to see Decimus, you got to see Atriox, Decimus, and Let Valir all on the cliff. You can just tell because Decimus is obvious. He's like... Probably 100 pounds more in pure muscle than any other brute. So he's the biggest brute on screen ever. So <laughs> he's going to tell her anything. And the Elite Gerald Honey comparison, some people don't like it as opposed to Halo 2 where the Elites stood about the same height-ish and seem more imposing. Now the Elites are still imposing and powerful, but the Brutes are stronger according to the lore. They are seen as physically more powerful. So they're used as expendable muscle as the AI said in the trailer. So I'm excited to see it. I don't know how you guys feel about it. It's just, it's so cool to see that because to show that there's flashbacks in time and they mention about how long the Covenant is and they expand upon how big of a deal it is that the Covenant got revolted upon by this one guy, this chieftain, and his pack was used like they were grunts. And I'm not trying to insult any of you Ungoy fans out there, any of you grunt fans, but the grunts are seen as the most expendable of all the Covenant races. So just to use them like that, it was a disgrace to his pack and his pride, and he just hated seeing that. If you don't know this, the Jorohane Brutes have a very savage society. At one point, they were almost to a... Uh, a scientific, a very advanced spacefaring age, but they fought in a civil war, especially after the death of Tartarus, who had basically become high chieftain of the brutes that you know served to the covenant of one of many chieftains, I'm sure. But after that, they had beaten themselves back to a savage stone age due to their brutal nature. They're just their savage, almost prehistoric nature to just fight and become the animals they once were. They fight as tribes where the elites fight more like clans. Elites are more like samurai, and the brutes are more like barbarians, but to a very more brutal degree, hence brutes. So to see the rivalry between, there's one thing in particular I'm super excited for with Halo Wars 2, and they have to do it. I know Atriox teases Let Valir a lot about his uh, ship's name and everything, but he also respects Let Valir. I want to see if there's a rivalry between Decimus and Let Valir, because Let Valir is an open thinking elite, similar to Thelvadom in a lot of ways, but he doesn't agree with the Swords of San Helios' views, as it's been said online. Um, to see, and the fact that Decimus was so mistreated by, we can't deny the fact that the elites mistreated almost every other race at one form or another, especially the Brutes, but I think that this was because the elites knew of the Brutes' potential to a degree. And now we have a brute, a Jirohane, that can actually demonstrate that. And that's what I'm most excited for. I, I have to give respect to the race that is the mortal enemy and backstabbing enemy of my favorite race, the Sanheili or Sangeli. And to see that, to see that squad put down, kind of, I hated seeing it, but it, it lets you wake up to the fact that these brutes bowed down to this because of a holy quest and they were just done being mistreated. They were faithful, loyal, and to a certain degree, they were more devout than even most of the Sanhili, and it shows that. Whether you want to say that it's stupid, stupid faith in, in the covenant religion, or you want to say that, but I just think that it's going to be interesting to see that rivalry between Let Valir and Decimus, and possibly a later rivalry between Let Valir and Atriox. Who knows? Let Valir may turn, or he may die in battle, but I just hope he isn't treated like Julem Dama is, as well as Thelvadam in the future. Hope he's not treated that way. Just an expendable character wiped off the face of the map. So, without my personal feelings getting in the way, Halo Wars 2, Atriox trailer, not a lot to say about it, just excited about it. This is a faction that opposed the Covenant, just like the humans did to a degree, out of choice, and they opposed the Covenant. He opposed the Covenant with nobody by his side when the Covenant was strong. When they were not shattered, when they were near, not near shattering, when the elites had an iron grip under the fist of the uh, prophets, the San Shayum. So to see that and to see how this is going to demonstrate in the care and to see if those old, you know, pre 
uh, great schism rivalries will come out before the covenant fell apart during the civil war between the General Hane factions and the Sanhili factions. I'm really excited to see if any of those grudges still remain. I know they do and let Valir, he doesn't trust them, doesn't like taking orders from brutes. But Atriarch saved his cruiser. They were out of supplies and their crew could have starved. And the only way to keep, the only way for Let Valir to keep the Enduring Convictions fleet and crew together was to accept the offer because he had no covenant to follow and he didn't agree with peace with the humans. So this was the one way he could keep his warriors and all those under his command together. And I think that's noble. It's going to be, I, I really hope Let Valir has a good character. Um, Decimus, I can't wait to see Decimus just because. Bitter rivalries, and to see that. I'm not trying to drag this on too much, but I'm excited. And I want to see who gets a trailer next. Will it be James Cutter? Will it be, you know, will it be Let Valir? Will it be our AI? Will it, who's it going to be next? We have yet to see. But I'm excited regardless. So, Halo Wars 2, to the Atrox trailer. I'll leave a link to the actual description, you know, leave a link to the video to the description below. And uh, so you can watch it without me bugging you. And I'll also leave a link to my channel as well as other things on Twitter as well. If you like the video, guys, you like the way I reacted, or if you feel the same, hit that like button. It helps a lot. And go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more videos by me in the future. There should be more coming up now that I'm finally on Christmas break. So with that being said, guys, thanks for tuning in. It's been too long. Sorry about my absence, but I'm a very busy person. And uh, if you guys just stop by because I had a new video, thank you. It means the world to me. Till next time, I'm Euclid Gamer, and I'll see you all in the next video.